Hello everyone, so here's the beginner practice challenge today. We're working on the A major scale and then from the A major scale we'll go into the A major arpeggio. We are choosing A because the Highland Lullaby is in the key of A, which means you have F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. Or the other way to think about it is that you have high twos from G to E string. So F sharp on the, on the D string, high two, C sharp on the A string, high two, G sharp on the E string, high, tri high two. So that's your basic finger position, one space high two, three for A major. And after we run through the scale for one octave, we'll run through the arpeggio as well. So here we go. A open. B. C sharp. D. E open. F sharp. G sharp. A. Come on back down. D. If that's straightforward and easy enough for you, I'd like you to play the A major scale in a watermelon, watermelon rhythm. So two, gro two groups, sorry I can't talk today, two groups of 16th notes. Watermelon, watermelon, B. B. Part of this exercise is to play it in jig rhythm. Jiggity, 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 etc. So here we go. Ready and. Come on back down. we're going to play the A major arpeggio, playing A, C sharp, E, A. Now you're going to play it in watermelon rhythm. you'll play it in jig rhythm. Jiggity, jiggity. So two things. We're working on intonation and really focusing on where, where that finger placement goes. And we're building on yesterday's exercise where we're staying really relaxed with the right hand and we're moving into rhythms. Even though we're playing a slow tune Highland Lullaby, we're really focusing on making sure this right hand is nice and loose and that's where the rhythms come in. So be careful not to play a stiff watermelon. Really focus on your tone and how how are you letting, or are you, I should say, letting the string ring create a full circle vibration so that you're engaging the F hole um, and the sound post to produce tone in your instrument. If we play with a heavy bow and we choke the sound, then we don't allow it to actually resonate. So try keeping a really relaxed right arm. To encourage that ringing tone that we can hear. All right, so that's it for day three. Thank you so much for joining me. Send me a note if you have any questions. Send me a note if you have any comments or post your video. I'd love to see it. Bye.